Have you ever wanted to share an extra camera angle in your stream? If so, this video is for you. Hey, it's Dana from StreamYard. Maybe you're live streaming your church service and you'd like to have one camera on the stage and one camera on the community who's worshiping. Maybe you're an artist and you wanna have one camera on your face and one camera on your desk on what you're painting. Maybe you're a chef and you wanna have one camera on you and you're cooking and then you wanna have a camera from above overlooking your cutting board or your mixing bowl. All kinds of ways you can utilize StreamYard's extra extra camera angle feature. To enable your extra camera angle, first enter the studio. I like to add myself to the stream, then click share. In the share button, you'll see the extra camera angle button. Click that and it'll allow you to choose from your available cameras. There we go, looks like it's working. Next, you have the option to customize the camera resolution. I'm gonna keep this at full high def 1080p. Click share. Now your camera angle won't be featured on screen until you click add to stream, like you would another guest or a slideshow. Your camera angle will be in the show with you. Next, let's talk about layouts. Layouts really make your live stream super dynamic, especially when you're using two camera angles. The first layout is the spotlight layout. The next layout is called the group layout. And this is just where both your extra camera angle and your camera are the same size right beside each other. If you had other guests on screen, your guests would also be the same size. The next layout button is the cropped layout button. And this is just a more zoomed in angle of both you and your extra camera angle. In any layout, you can click to drag and drop each camera if you wanna switch sides or switch where the guest's camera's located. Located. And the last layout is the solo layout. Solo means only one person is showed on screen in full screen mode. I can toggle between me in full screen solo mode or my extra camera angle by clicking solo layout button like that. And if you want your extra camera angle to truly be full screen and not show this background image, just click settings, click layouts, and then click crop solo layout and uncheck this one. Then your extra camera angle can be in full screen mode just like this, or I could be in full screen mode with my camera and I can easily toggle between these two. One important thing to note is that extra camera angles do not have name tags. This is because usually it's not a person. It's on a desk or it's like mine, mine's showing my keyboard uh, or it's showing a group of people. So it doesn't usually need a name tag. If you don't like that one has a name tag and one doesn't, you can head to brand and turn those name tags off like this. You can remove your extra camera angle from the live stream at any time, just by clicking remove. You can also add it back. And then when you're done with your extra camera angle, click on these three dots, then click stop camera. And there you go. Now only you as a host can share the second camera angle. Your guests do not have this capability. The extra camera angle feature is only available on StreamYard's professional plan, which starts at $49 per month. That is everything you need to know to share an extra camera angle in your next live stream. If you have any questions at all, message our 24 seven live chat support team at streamyard.com contact. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.